Hi, this is a demonstration of Student College Smart Card project. So this is an innovative system that uh, uses a single card which can be used by the student to uh, store his documents online as well as uh, he can use the same card for uh, paying his dues that is the library dues, even the canteen payment as well as other official and stationary supplies in the college. So you know the student can use just a single card for all his uh, academic needs in the office, uh, library for payment dues, uh, then for canteen as well as for stationery. So he just has to keep a single card and this card consists of a unique ID which, uh, which is scannable in uh, his, uh, the college office, library, canteen as well as stationery. And based on uh, this card, they can deduct uh, appropriate uh, balance from uh, the student. The student can then uh, refill his card easily through the admin or directly by using his own credit card. So let's see how the system works. Let's first go to the admin login and let's uh, log in. So in admin login you can see uh, he can uh, add new students into the database so this is the user id name address mobile and uh, the max qualification here so you know he can uh, enter the max qualification whether it is ssc hsc and based on this uh, max qualification here he has to add uh, proper documents for that particular student so here once the ID has been entered, the student has registered, we just have to select that particular ID. So for this ID, we had selected max qualification as SSC. So it's just showing, uh, it's just asking him to upload the SSC certificate. So let's choose another student who had uh, higher qualifications. So this had higher qualifications uh, till post graduation. So hence the system is asking to enter all three documents more than three documents for this particular candidate so admin can just uh, click on choose file and he can uh, upload any particular document so this is how when he clicks on choose file he can upload a particular document from his uh, pc for every qualification so he can also add balance if the student wishes to uh, uh, refill his account through the admin, he just uh, scans his uh, ID and then you know, after scanning the card, he can uh, see the balance of the student, balance in his account and he can uh, you know set the, if the student uh, uh, needs more balance, he can just uh, edit the balance there. So now let's go to the view student profile module, here the uh, admin can view the profile of various students already into a system uh, this is the data and there are the documents when you click on a document it just opens the document here for the admin to view at any time so the student doesn't need to carry his document to the admin the admin can any time uh, you know download it and use it for any college purposes so now let's see other logins here so suppose the student goes to the office, the office uh, can click on this login. So now the office has uh, logged in. Now whenever a student approaches the office for uh, any transaction, suppose he has transaction of 50 rupees, the office scans his ID and you know he can just uh, deduct balance of 50 rupees from that particular student's account. So it shows payment successful and the uh, balance has been detected from that particular student's account. So similarly we have view transaction. The office can view the various transactions performed by a particular office. And this is the view student profile. Suppose the office needs any particular documents of the student for any 
uh, for any official needs they can just uh, scan the student id and after selecting the student id they can just uh, click on any certificate to download it the student need doesn't need to carry it to them manually so and this is the change of password module so similarly if the student goes to a library and he has to pay a fine this is the library login the library authority can log in using this id and password now suppose the student comes here and he has to pay a fine the library personnel scan his id and after scanning uh, they can directly deduct the particular amount from the user's account so it shows payment successful similarly the library has a view transaction module where the library authority can view the past transactions made in the library and change password similarly canteen login this is the login of the canteen the canteen authority can log in using this id and password and here we scan the student id so suppose the student ate something of rupees 20 here so we can just scan his card and deduct rupees 20 from the student's account and similarly view past transactions similarly we have stationary login uh, it uh, works similar to the canteen and library login here it, they can deduct a, a particular amount from uh, the student's account so now let's go to the student login The student can log in using the ID and password generated by the admin. So now student can uh, view his own documents and can download them anytime from anywhere. Similarly, add balance, the student can recharge his own account using his credit card number easily from here if he doesn't want to go to the admin. And he can also view his uh, past transactions here. So you can see that we made three transactions, one in canteen library and office. So it shows the details here to the student whenever he wishes to see his past transactions. So this is how Collet Smart Card is an efficient system that allows the student to uh, manage his uh, entire college uh, uh, academic uh, uh, payments as well as uh, the entire system is uh, brought online. He can also, he doesn't need to carry his documents. Uh, with him manually everywhere he goes he can just upload it in the system and uh, those who require it the official authorities who require it can download and view them anytime as needed so this is how college smart card system works thank you